of your day, you will apply the rejuvenation clay. The rejuvenation clay has zinc, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. You take the clay for what? For aches and pains, for stiffness, for swelling. Take out a heaping tablespoon of the clay. You have a gauze. You get that from the drugstore. Or you can work with a white washcloth that has no dyes, no colors in it. And then you spread the clay on the gauze. You spread the, you spread the clay on the gauze. Spread it out. And there's actually 21 ways how to use the rejuvenation clay. So say you have a, a, a goiter that's swelling, or, and you place that right there in your throat. Or say that you have pain in your shoulders, or a classic one is knee pain. As we get older, we're eating all that sugar and all that junk, as any way in our bones and our joints. So you might put the clay on your knees, or maybe you have carpal tunnel, pack it on your hands. Where, for women, over the wombs, if you have pain every month, for men, prostate, if you have pain in your prostate, or low back pain. Wherever you place it, you're going to take go, a tape. This is your non-surgical tape, and you're going to put it on that area and just keep it in place. So this tape will cover the top of the gauze. And do another piece of tape. So you really have your nutrition kitchen set up and your family is lining up for wellness. Everyone in your whole family needs healing. So if you are the chosen one, then you are gonna be that healing practitioner of your family. Isn't that wonderful? I speak about that concept in Circles of Wellness, my latest book for healing yourself, your family, your community, your planet. You may be the healer of your community with the formulas and the healthy lifestyle. Place it wherever it needs to go and you sleep with this, with this gauze and this clay overnight. And while you're sleeping, that body organ is knitting. By the time you wake up in the morning, you are rejuvenated, you feel 50% better than the day before. Now, it's not over yet. While you are sleeping, the clay is penetrating, going into the bone, the muscle, the joint, and putting minerals in, zinc, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and it's pulling out the pain, the swelling, the discomfort. But we're not over yet. Now, you can take the clay externally, but you can also take it internally. So take a heaping tablespoon of the clay and the power of using it internally is that it takes care of the whole body at one time. So if you have aches and pains everywhere, you need to take them internally. So if it's taking care of the back, while it's taking care of the womb and the prostate, while it's healing the knees, while it's healing the shoulders, all at one time. So we're gonna put a cup of water. Alkaline, distilled, purified water into our blender. And we're going to make sure that our blender is um, plugged in. <laughs> and then here we go. Done. Yum, yum. <laughs> what we can do, because this is at nighttime, so you're going to be doing a lot of healing while you're sleeping. Let's just close it out with a little drop of breath of life. One drop. Oop, right there. It's all a part of the healing. So while you're sleeping, your lungs are opening up, your sides is opening up, and you're knitting all that at one time. A little nightcap of wellness. When I say knitting, that means that the body is restoring itself, the tissues, the cells, and here we go. Hmm. Oh, I just feel so rejuvenated. And I know you're feeling it. So here's to your health. 
Here's your vitality. Rejuvenation clay, externally and internal healing. Now, while you have all of this knowledge from going into the pharmacy to strengthen you at nighttime or early morning, you want to do your early reading or your late night reading. You want to have some time to read over your city of wellness, restoring your health to the seven kitchens of consciousness. So you're preparing the foods, the juices, the herbs, the, the, the main courses, all that's in here, even your cornbread, <laughs> your sweet potato pie. It's all inside here. And then you have your Heal Thyself book for those who want to set up their lifestyle fully. This is the book for lifestyle and just coming into wellness. And then if you want to take all these studies and all this lifestyle transformation, you might want to form a circle in your church, in your mosque, in your community center, in your shrine, in your family, family healing. And you've probably been looking at a little stone I've had all throughout the segments and this is one of the stones that i love to keep with me and that's your rose quartz which means that when you take care of yourself in this way you're giving yourself self-love that's what the stone represents self-love and i close out with health care is self-care and we have this one affirmation the power to heal is within me and you and we have the mighty power to heal ourselves. Thank you. And warm hugs and love in Nutrition Kitchen Pharmacy.